Here we are at the Northrop King building in the Northeast Arts District. This is Mara. Mara Klum, <laughs> my sweet wife and artist of the studio. This is Mara's studio. I'm a full-time studio artist. I always wanted to do that. I work in porcelain. I'm a one-woman show. I do every, every aspect of the business. The studio is slightly larger square footage-wise than our apartment. It's all about creating simplicity, really. Right now, I'm like, wow. <laughs> There's, you know, there are all kinds of areas that I'm like, I should have tucked that away. I should have put that away. I know. I because while I work, I just I want to have as much simple or empty space to look at as possible, basically. So that the, the, the thing I, that's in front of me that I'm working on can occupy most of the space or my mental images can. Because I'm trained as a potter, you know, making cups and functional small items and have tried to move and develop work uh, away from direct function or, or utility into more a sculptural work or maybe even conceptual work but it is still about the vessel and it's still about containing something. Now a coffee cup contains coffee, a large bowl that just sits, contains space. It's funny because it's a kind of <laughs> strange coincidence that I always say that I came to the Twin Cities for the local music scene and it had a reputation for that and the Twin Cities and Minnesota in general has a reputation for ceramics, ceramics too. And that's why Maren came, because she wanted to study with Mark Ferris and Warren McKenzie is kind of the, the, the grand old dame. Minnesota and Western Wisconsin has a huge um, presence of ceramic art and individual artisthood. And yeah. it's like the, the state is just filled with role models. And you come to realize that a lot of people who live here don't understand how lucky we are to have that many potters in a concentrated area. It doesn't happen in many parts of the country, in fact. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like another community that Minnesota has been really supportive of, like the music community. It's like the American football. Yeah. You know, that's like, that's like, I mean, if like, you know, like that's one, one, of, one of the things I thought of when this was finished. I'm like, oh no, I made a football. But um, it's, it's really, it's, it's an egg, and it's based on some of the great simple shapes that Constantine Brancusi has done, the utter archetype of a three-dimensional form, if you will, the, the egg shape. We both feel very blessed to be able to do things that we love to do, and we know how rare that is. Uh, especially for a couple, to both be able to go to work every day and do something you love is something that we try and be um, thankful for every single day. And so to share this together is, is wonderful and it's my favorite place on the planet right now. Even more so maybe than being in the studio at the current, just because of symbolically what it means in terms of a successful partnership, a relationship with somebody else, which um, is not the easiest thing in the world to do either. And, and so I feel we've been together seven years now. And I feel like uh, this is symbolic of um, the achievement in my life that I'm most proud of.